gamers! Hi! Welcome back to the channel today, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Things might look a little different around me as I'm doing some changes. I'm currently in the process of getting a new camera first off, so that's why you guys are watching me through a webcam and not my usual DSLR camera. And right now, my background is undergoing some changes as well. Usually, you guys see me from facing this way. So, I want to get that out of the way. I know the background is looking a little different, but I wanted to cover another Premiere Pro tutorial for you guys today. You all seem to really enjoy the last one, so thank you for the love on that. But today, I wanted to talk about text and keyframing that text. I know that a large majority of you that watch my channel are into gaming. A lot of you make your own gaming videos. And in my opinion, a really crucial part of making good gaming videos is having great text. It makes the flow of a video feel much more satisfying and a lot smoother. This poses the question as to how do we actually incorporate this text. So I'm going to show you guys today. This will not be a long video whatsoever, but I just want to do a quick overview of how to implement text to make your videos better. I'm going to be hopping into this, assuming that you guys know how to import everything and how to put it into your timeline. But luckily for you, if you don't know how to do those things, about a week or two ago, I posted a video doing like an introductory to how to edit. If you want to see that and learn how to do all the introductory stuff first, click the link down below to watch my last Premiere Pro tutorial. The only thing I'm going to be showing you guys about this edit is the text feature itself. Let's see what these clips look like right off the bat. In the first set of clips that I've cut up here, just these three short seconds, again, this will be a very brief tutorial. You can see there's some interesting stuff going on here within VR chat, which is always a fantastic game for content. I went to a general chatting area that's pretty common within the game, and I want to show you guys how we can utilize some funny pop-up text to really bounce into place and give some life to what she's saying. What are you doing? He's in Attack on Titan. He's in a... He's my child. <laughs> okay, so you can see there's a lot of opportunity for good text to pop up above her head or right under her mouth. Not only do I want text to kind of come into place to highlight what she's saying, but I want the text to come in above her head and kind of have a little bit of a bounce to it. So it feels like every word is coming right out of her mouth and it's just bouncing into place. We're gonna take our tight tool at the bottom and just drag across the front of the screen. And I think she said he's first, but now I've got the font I want. I'm just gonna drag this box in so everything fits within the parameters. And then in my essential graphics panel over here, I can just center everything very easily with these align and transform tools I have. Again, like I mentioned in my last video, if you guys don't have this panel on your screen for essential graphics, all you gotta do is hit window on the top left, go down to essential graphics, and add it to your panel selection list. Again, if you need to learn anything about setting up your workspace, I covered all that in the last video, link down below. So I think he comes in right about here. He's an attack on Titan. Okay, he's an attack on Titan is the sentence she says. So let's go ahead and just mark each one of these where she says he's an attack on Titan. So I wanna separate each of these words in the sentence so they're all popping above her head so he's an attack on titan now we just gotta go to each of these and fill in the sentence like we normally would sounds good we got everything all good to go and now we just gotta actually keyframe these in like i mentioned in my last video everything you do for keyframing is going to be in the effects control panel over here so now that we have the text in place we need to go ahead and keyframe it to come above her head and kind of track to stay with her movement all we gotta do is hit the little stopwatch on the left here which tells premiere pro we're about to start production of a movement since he comes in right about here we're gonna go ahead and start it at right here right inside of her mouth line it up So we get the he inside of her mouth right there cool And then as soon as the word he comes out is where production needs to stop What I mean by that is we need to set an end keyframe now now that we have a beginning keyframe stay with me We are going to go over just a little bit just about that much And then we are going to set the end portion and where do we want to end up above her head? He is gonna come right up here and then it looks a little like that, but you see the problem it's off center now and this is where we have the key frame So every frame going forward every single frame We want to make sure it's lined right above her head So it kind of sticks and just keep going along until you get to the end of the clip Just continue this process and sometimes this is a little tedious and you can see it, it stayed the whole entire time It's a lot of work just to get it in the same place for that quick moment But once we repeat this process over and over and over again, it's so much more satisfying So we got the first one done. Let's do the same thing with Anne here we're just gonna keyframe it at the beginning to start a beginning path and then put it right up and in there This is where we were gonna want it to be at the very end of that See how it's already popping up above her head and looks so much more satisfying when it's fast You can see it, that's really all there is to it to bring text above someone's head Just have to keyframe a start point with your stopwatches to the left Make sure you have it where you want to line up and then just quickly have it pop above her head with the in keyframe First three words look like this already so you can see it's so much more satisfying because the words are coming out. It's immersing the viewer even more. Having this immersion level really is going to change your videos overall. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm getting at with this. So let me repeat that for this first full sentence here.
So now I've gone through and I've keyframed the first five words that she says. All of this is just little details that go into making videos so great. This is really what's gonna separate you from tons of other video editors. So now we can watch it back from the very beginning and this is what she looks like with text up off her head. And you can see just how much more immersive it feels with just that little bit done. What are you doing? He's in Attack on Titan. See, it's so much better. Like, it's so much better. So that was a great example of how we can have some text to pop above someone's head just to really give some life to what they're saying. And we're going to continue this process all the way through here. So just to cover what I said one more time, it's very simple. All we're doing is just making sure we are utilizing keyframing very properly. Start everything on the left here down to zero, but right in position where you want it to pop up from. And then figure out where you want your keyframe to end up once it becomes bigger and just track it along their head just little by little so it stays right in place. So there's not much more to keyframing text above someone's head. Again, this is not gonna be like a super long video, but that's just an example right there of how to do it. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of repeat that process. I'm gonna do some other effects and stuff on this clip. I'm not gonna take the time to explain every effect I'm gonna do. I covered a lot of that in my last video, but let me do this really quickly. I'm gonna see how long it takes me. I don't think it's gonna take too long. Maybe a couple of minutes. Let's set a timer, shall we? And go. Okay, let's do this thing. So I just finished everything up and we're gonna stop it right there. So that took me about 15 minutes. Nothing too insane for this clip, but as you can see, that was only a 15 second long clip. Like about 15 minutes. So sometimes these things take a, take a little bit of time to get down. This right here is a perfect example of what you're gonna get on VR chat if you try to make videos on this game. But uh, let's watch this from start to finish. I think it turned out pretty funny. It's just, it's such a short clip, but yeah, here you go. Watch it. What are you doing? He's in Attack on Titan. He's in a... He's my child. Stop hurting That's my child. That's your child? How old are you then if he's your child? Body man. <laughs> So as you can see, having the edits there makes everything a much more immersive experience. Hopefully this short tutorial was good for you guys to get an idea of what a good edit looks like after you have text in. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions on it down below. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next Premiere Pro tutorial. I have a lot of great content I'm filming for you guys coming up very soon. Again, I'm in the process of remodeling and doing a bunch of different stuff. But soon it will be all together and we will be back on a normal schedule. Hope you guys are staying healthy and well and keeping your positivity levels very high. Appreciate you for watching today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you haven't already and you don't mind doing so go ahead and drop a sub like me. That's a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!